Yo, what's going on guys? My name's Shane, and in this video we are going to be creating a simple coin animation in Adobe Illustrator. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to head over to the shape section to the left and choose the eclipse tool, or you can use the L key for short. Hold down shift and drag out a circle. Pick whichever colour you like, or you can use these codes here to use the same colours as me. Once you've done that, we're going to be copying this using Ctrl and C. And then we're going to be using Ctrl F to paste this in place. Next, hold down Shift and Alt and drag this in. So we get to about here. Then we want to use a different colour. I'm using these colours here. Once we've done this, we can repeat that same process. Ctrl C, Ctrl F. Drag this in about here and then we're going to be choosing the first color I'm also going to bring this out just a little bit more this one a little bit there we go once we've done this we want to do the same process again and this time we're going to be using the shadow color and head over to the opacity section to the right and we're going to be setting this to 20. Maybe 15. It's better. Right. Then yet again, Control C, Control F. Only this time we want to bring it in just slightly. And we're going to be then selecting the gold color again. Now this just adds a little depth to the coin. So now that we've done this, we need to create the section in the middle. So we're going to head over and we're going to select the rectangle tool this time. And we just want something like this. Alternatively, you can use whatever shape you like, but just for the video, I'm just going to use a simple rectangle. Now, what we can also do is we can select everything. We can group them together with Ctrl G. And then we can select both, holding down Shift and selecting. Then up here we can use the Pathfinder tools, or the alignment tools should I say. And we can align them vertically and horizontally, and it'll leave it nice and perfect in the middle. Now once we've done this, we're going to select this colour again. We're going to make this 20. Then I'm going to repeat the same process. This time, I'm going to drag this over. And we're just creating this shadow to make it have more depth. So we'll paste this here. Now you should have something that looks like this. And what we need to do is, we need to select both of these, so hold down shift and select these two. Then, we want to use the Pathfinder tool. I mean, uh, the Shape Builder tool, sorry. So, you can select this over here, or you can hold shift and M. And then once we're doing this, we can just select and just drag this over and it will create a new shape. So it'll then look a lot cleaner. So now we have a basic coin. So next though, we're going to add a little, little highlight to it. So yet again, rectangle tool. And we just want to select two rectangles, make one a little bit shorter, group them together and we're going to use the white color. So once we've done this, we also want to hold shift and drag this out on an angle. I'm also going to ungroup this and I'm going to hold alt and shift and just drag this out. And the reason we're doing this is because we're going to be using the tools earlier, the alignment tools and we're going to horizontally and vertically align these, select them all, and once we've done this we can come over here to the Pathfinder, and we want to use this one, Divide. Now what this will do is, this will cut out the extra bits we don't want. We can now right click and ungroup, and we can then select and delete all the bits we don't want. And now we have some highlights to put on the coin, so we can now just Make this capacity of 15. 
group them together again, group the coin again, we can then select both and yet again align them horizontally and vertically and now we have a nice little highlight on the coin. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit, make this 10, I think that looks a bit better. Okay so now that you have your coin it is time to create the animations so simply drag this over to the left and we're going to be making a copy of this so we want to do Control c and Control f again and then we can just drag this out and now the first thing we need to be doing is we need to ungroup all of this coin and now what we want to do is we need to lock this back piece so we can group all the front pieces so to do this we just need to simply press Control and 2 and that will lock this in place. We can now select the rest and group them with Ctrl G. The next thing is to now scale this down and then press Ctrl Alt and 2 which will do the opposite and this will now ungroup, I mean unlock everything. So we can now just scale this in and now we have the first piece of our animation. So once again, we're going to copy this over and now we want to do the same process and just scale it even further down. And we now have the first two pieces or three pieces of our animation. So now we need the middle piece. So head over to the shape section and use the rectangle tool. And we're going to create a rectangle the same height as the coin. And we just want it to be about this thick. We don't want it too big and then we now need to create a copy so Control c Control f and i'm going to be using this color again now i'm going to drag this over i'm going to duplicate this to the right now this is a basic version of the side of the coin but to make this look a bit smoother we can now Select the middle piece and we're going to select these four points on the corners and then just simply drag them in and this will round the coin. Now in order to then get rid of the corners we need to just select everything, head over to the pathfinder on the right and select divide. We can now select this, right click ungroup and we can now delete the corner pieces. We now have the next piece of the animation. So now, in order to make this even easier, we can now duplicate these two pieces we've previously made and just flip them. So all we have to do is select these two. We can drag them over to the right. Now, I'm going to be selecting them both and grouping them just to make it easier. But simply click on one, and we're going to go to the. We're going to right click. Sorry, we want to go to arrange. No, transform, sorry. And we want to click reflect. We want to reflect it vertically. Repeat the same process with the next one. Reflect. And now, we should have a finished animation. So, I'm just going to select all these. Make sure they're nice that they're all grouped together. You don't have to do this, but I'm just going to space them out evenly. Um, but yeah, so there you have it guys, you now have a full finished animation for a coin and you can now take these, export each of these individually, so all you got to do is go to click for export, export as multiple assets if you select them all, so you can just export as multiple assets, you have all your animations here and then you just simply export them as a PNG and click export and uh, that's that. So. Yeah, the next thing you can do is you can take those into your game engine of choice and uh, you will then have a spinning coin. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um, I plan on making more videos like this in the future. Um, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something. And um, there'll be more complex videos to come in the future also. So yeah, take care. Goodbye.